Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Nina from Brighter Worlds Creations. Today's video, I'm super excited to share with you all. I finally had my first market. And I'm gonna share a few clips from the market and hopefully you guys enjoy. about this market with it being my first time at all so for this market i definitely learned a lot and took away a lot that i'm gonna be putting into use for future markets i'm actually gonna be doing the same market this coming weekend which i'm super excited about because it's like redemption time not that i needed to redeem myself but i did have a few hiccups and i'll tell you about those so some of the hiccups that i encountered one was that i forgot my tablecloth and it's required for this market that you have your table covered. So my sister was with me and she ran to Target while I set up and <laughs> it was very stressful. Had an hour and 30 minutes to set up, but somehow it just like flew by. And setting up was pretty tiring. I did have a rolling cart uh, that I used for camping that helped out a lot, but um, my sister has a dolly that she uh, recently purchased that I didn't put together yet, but I'm gonna use it next time. And I did invest in, in, in a storage container that rolls. So we'll see for the next one if it's gonna be easier with my new setup. Um, so I had the tablecloth mishap. Uh, my square reader it was my first time using square and I, I should have practiced I did look on there like a, a week before, just played around on the app and added my items and everything. But when it actually came down to my first customer, <laughs> it was a bit of a struggle and my hands were like shaking. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> But I figured it out and <laughs> got the ball rolling on that. And then I realized that I forgot my charger cord, but luckily I had just enough charge to last. So that's something that I will definitely remember. I did have help from my sister and my nine-year-old. For my second market coming up, it's just gonna be myself and my daughter. So we'll see how that goes. The market was actually popping. The weather was just right. And there were so many people out and I had I had a lot of people come by my table showing interest in my products and pricing I was still figuring out pricing so uh, I, I noticed a lot of people would pick something up and 
uh, ask about it and then they'd ask about the price and sometimes they'd just kind of be like mm, go back and forth and be like nah so I'm definitely gonna work on my pricing this time that's actually what I've been doing tonight working on my price board but something that I do want to mention which is crazy I did run into a celebrity a celebrity came by my table me and my sister look look at each other and we're like is that no <laughs> and it was um an actor from a show I watched back in like high school called Lincoln Heights and his name uh Russell Hornsby I'm not sure if any of you all are familiar but he had shades on and we still recognize them so I thought that was pretty pretty cool and we got a picture with him and I'll share that now. So that was pretty cool, running into a celebrity on my first market. When I got home and went onto my Square app to check out how much I actually made, my total sales was, including my cash, was around 250. For my first time, I thought that was pretty good, but all in all, it was a great learning experience and I, I think that in the future, it's gonna go a lot more smoothly. I did pay 120 to enter into this market. And so from that 250 that I made, I profited uh, a little over a hundred dollars. The cost of goods that I sold, I added all of that up. That was only about $10 total. The profit margins for concrete crafts, concrete home decor, pretty much insane because like this this is like a pound of concrete this costs like 50 cents to make so it's pretty pretty wild and doing this first market made me realize that this is something that i'm definitely going to stick with and i'm super proud of myself for putting myself out there and you know you hear a lot about imposter syndrome and i really I have always wanted to have something of my own. It's like my own little baby other than my daughter. <laughs> my other little baby that I'm bringing to life. And hopefully you guys will share this journey with me. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to tune in for upcoming videos and events that I'm gonna share with you all. Also subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoyed. Make sure to go over to Instagram and follow me as well for other behind the scenes footage. All right, that's all for now, everybody. Thank you so much for your time today and enjoy the rest of your week.